Greetings, this is J. Peter Brzezzi. The following demonstration is from my Exchange Server 2010 Unified Messaging Training Course. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so in order to enable custom prompt recording using the telephone user interface, there's a couple of things that you have to have in place first. So for starters, you need to have a dial plan, and you need to have at least one auto attendant, and then within that auto attendant, it's necessary that you have a custom greeting already established. So here if we go up to the New York auto attendant, and we already know we have a dial plan, if we look here at the greetings, you see this greetings is a custom greetings. And what's going to happen is by using the telephone, we're going to be able to call in and change the greetings as opposed to having to create a WAV file, copy it over to the server, and then make the changes to it that way by going in here and modifying and so on. No, instead what's going to happen is because it's already a custom greeting, it's going to simply record a new version of this file. So you may want to have a copy of this file somewhere else so that you can change it back when you need to, but in the event that let's say it's an emergency, there's a snowstorm, you want to notify people, hey, don't come in, well, then it will change this greeting file. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? For starters, just as the administrator, you want this ability to be able to call in. So you can do it with the administrator account. Typically though with Exchange, you want to distinguish between different accounts so that you don't necessarily have one person handling everything or one administrator account that can pretty much touch everything and do whatever he or she wants. Instead, you typically go with the least amount of permissions and create accounts that are delegated the least amount of permissions so that they don't have the ability to do more than what they've been assigned to do. So in this case, you can create a domain user account, but one that perhaps cannot log on interactively. And then what you want to do is you want to give that user account the exchange organization administrator role because that's the role that's going to give that user the ability to perform the tasks of changing the prompts and then you can create an exchange mailbox for that user and enable the mailbox for unified messaging so you'll give the user an extension and a pin even if the domain user doesn't actually use the unified messaging service for themselves but this is just the account that you're going to give others in your organization so that you're not the only one that has it. You'll give it to others so that they can call in and they can also make these changes to the greetings. So once you have all of this in place and you have the custom greetings in place and so on, really the only thing you need to do is to make a change to the way the UM dial plan allows for prompt adjustments. And so in order to do that, you actually can't do it through the Exchange Management Console. You click Start. You go to the Exchange Management Shell, and what we're going to do is type in set-um dial plan space identity, and then put in the name of the dial plan. In our case, it's New York. And then what we want to do is put in dash TUI, which stands for Telephone User Interface prompt editing enabled dollar sign true and that's pretty much it at this point we should be able to check the existing greetings and make changes to those greetings now when you first do this this could be somewhat confusing because you don't really know hey did this really work how come I can't find the prompts it's simply a matter of a lack of experience if you just hear how it works once then you'll understand how it will work going forward in the future. And that's the reason why we wanted to make this lesson, because we wanted to make sure that you can do this. It's one of those cool little things that it's really great that you can do this, but unless you see it done one time, it may take you hours to figure out on your own. Okay, so let's pick up the phone and let's dial the existing auto attendant. At this point, let's use the extension to call into our auto attendant. And what we're going to do is when the auto attendant picks up, we're going to hit the pound button and then the star button. And this is what's going to tell the auto attendant that we want to now make changes to our prompts. And we'll have to put in our extension number and a password. 
However, if we were just a user connecting in here and we tried it, it wouldn't let us make any changes. Let's try Jane Smith's extension and pin and let's see what happens because Jane doesn't have the proper permissions. So we'll dial the auto attendant and then hit pound star. Welcome to the Please enter your extension. Okay, we're going to enter in Jane's extension. Jane Smith. Please enter your PIN, then press the pound key. If this is not your mailbox... Sorry, I'm not able to do that for you. Goodbye. Jane Smith didn't have the right to make this change to access the prompts, so even though we hit the pound and the star button, put in her information, being that she doesn't have proper permissions in the system, she doesn't have the roles assigned to her at this point, well, it's not going to let her make the change. Really, the only person at this point who has the permissions is the administrator. So we enabled the administrator account, we gave the administrator an extension and a PIN, and so now we're going to call back doing the same thing. We'll call the auto attendant, we'll hit the pound button and the star, and then we'll provide the administrator's extension and PIN and watch how things change up a little bit. Welcome to the Global Med Please enter your extension. Administrator. Please enter your PIN, then press the pound key. Auto attendant prompts. For business hours prompts, press 1. To exit prompt provisioning, press the star key. So now we'll hit the 1 for business prompts. Business hour prompts. For the welcome greeting, press 1. To return to the pro Welcome to the Globomantics auto attendant. To accept, press 1. To re-record, press 2. To cancel, press the star key. Please record your prompt after the tone. When you have finished recording, press the pound key. Globomantics employees, as a result of the recent snowstorm that has passed through our area, we are going to keep Globomantics closed for today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. Globomantics employees, as a result of the recent snowstorm that has passed through our area, we are going to keep Globomantics closed for today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. To accept, press 1. To re-record, press 2. Okay. So we've accepted that new message. We were able to do it over the phone. And so as long as we can dial into the auto attendant, we can change the message that's given. And now, as would be expected, when someone calls into the auto attendant, this is what they hear. Globomantics employees. As a result of the recent snowstorm that has passed. Okay. So you can see how this is really a great feature. Not only does it not require me to use XP or some other third-party solution to create a WAV file here, but it gives me the ability to do this from home. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.